You know what I'm saying? Well, we need to be doing better. We need to be doing more. Our leadership has failed us. It's not that I'm trying to hate on anybody. It's just I'm looking at this and I'm saying, man, nobody else is seeing what I'm seeing. You don't see us as the lowest of a trouble hole. You don't see us living in poverty every day. You don't see the death and destruction. You don't see us spending more money than anybody else and getting less than anybody else. You don't see it's a reason for the disparities in healthcare and the incarceration system that we call jail. Because they're trillion dollar entities, they need people sick. It is so much more money in the treatment than the cure. Why cure cancer when you can treat it and, and make trillions of dollars? Because once you cure it, that medicine that you have for treatment is no longer any good. And see, this is why we, it, it, it's, it's almost like we gotta have a waking, uh, an awakening in, in, in black America and in, in impoverished America because we don't even understand what the rich is doing to us. We keep thinking that this, you know, that this country is our country, so, you know, they, they're here for us, they will protect us, they love us. They don't love you. They're not trying to protect you. Common sense. We, we're celebrating Easter this weekend. Celebrating Easter this weekend. Right? And, and, and for the life of me, I don't understand why they call this Good Friday. The day that Jesus was beaten and, and, and crucified. Why they call him this Good Friday? I have no idea. What's good about this Friday? Except for, I guess it's the only way you can call it, the reason you can call it Good Friday is because I guess when he died at Calvary, it was, you know, our sins. He was washing away our sins, so maybe that's why they call it Good Friday. But, we celebrate Easter. And you have folks who never go to church, or go to church this Sunday. Right? Church gonna be packed this Sunday. Now I go to the 8 o'clock service, so I don't have to deal with all that. Folks don't want to get up at 8 o'clock in the morning on Sunday or 7 o'clock in the morning on Sunday at least. But we're, we're celebrating Easter and we'll have all these pastors, reverends, bishops talk about Jesus and how he sacrificed for us. That we should be living and walking in the vein of the Lord. If we're going to live and walk in the vein of the Lord, uh, there's a couple of things we need to do. We need to sacrifice. We need to sacrifice for each other. We need to stop being punks. Jesus Christ was no punk. When he was on this earth, he was raising some sand, man. And he tells you that he was poor. <laughs>